Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship on this 13th Sunday in Pentecost. A few announcements this morning. I see quite a few gathering up here in the front. We'll be opening worship today with a baptism. Before we get started with that, though, I'm going to ask there are two special people that have come in this party that have just celebrated their wedding yesterday. We are reborn. 
and children of God and being members of the church, the body of Christ, living with Christ and the communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your children baptized into Christ? If so answer, I do. As you bring your children to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities. To live with them among God's faithful people. Bring them to the Word of God and the Holy Supper. Teach them the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. Place in their hands the Holy Scriptures. And nourish them in faith and in prayer. So that your children may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ in word and deed, care for others, and the world God made, and work for justice and peace. You promised to help Aaron Isaac and Kalani Zoe grow in the Christian faith and life and so answer.
you give your daughters and sons new birth. Cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Aaron Isaac. Sustain Alana Zoe with the gift of your Holy Spirit. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Amen. Aaron Isaac, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ.
because of the promise. So whoever eats you will live because of you. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which the ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Christ.
the building blocks of life and energy, they remain with us on and bind with our bodies and strength. In this, we really are what we need. If all we need is junk food, we won't be a strong warrior. And I think we all can agree on that. As a young child, I probably eat cookies at every meal. Sometimes as an adult, I eat cookies. I like them. And I still do. But I eat these things constantly and only eat the pot, only took in the good stuff. I still do not feel well. That's where his blood went to the thirst that we have in this world. What thirst do we have? Well, we have a thirst for pain, don't we? Thirst for sin, a thirst for the death of God. His blood, when, it was, when he shed it upon the cross, washed away sin, and quenched the fire burning in each one of us. It satisfies the judgment of sin and it brings us new life. We no longer thirst for the world, for ours has been quenched by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus today reminds us all today to follow him, abide in him in word and communion, to take our Savior into our lives and become what he is telling us, what he is teaching us, that great gift that he is feeding us with love, his grace, his forgiveness, his joy. His joy, which was found with his father. If we allow him to become a part of every fiber of our being, we truly will become what we need. We become his body in this world, sharing it with himself. Today, we have made two new things in that. Parents, God, I can't stress enough, it's your job, as well as all of us. To feed them as they need to be fed. See, that he grows in every fiber of being. See, today, as we baptize Aaron Isaac and Kalani Zoe, we welcome them as new families to his kingdom. As part of his body here on earth, we accept and honor his call to be a part of him and in it, invite others to this table. As we welcome these two limbs into our families of Christ, we as a body are committed to continue to guide them in this walk of faith. And it really is all of us. And please understand that if I get your name on the yellow tree,
abide with the Lord. He wants to be with us. We are as the guidance. If He abides, consumes us, and we abide and consume Him, what then? Just like the good, healthy food we eat comes from the outside in, Christ becomes the good food from the inside, revealed and consumed in faith, and its grace upon us is shown.
Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day became death in the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending.
Thank you.